isn't that surprising? Uh, I started to record this video at 6.30 something a.m. And two days ago, I broke my screen protector with my precision screwdriver, which is made with all metal. So yeah, I hate myself. Anyway, time to switch the camera over and yeah. Hey guys, it's Tell Talker here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. And as you guys saw on the last clip recorded with this phone, this is not my phone, this is my mom's. I broke my glass screen protector with my precision screwdriver, but at least it didn't crack the actual glass, which is always a good thing. But anyway, enough of the off topic. So yeah, in case you guys might be wondering, what phone did your mom currently uses? Well, that's the one. This is the Huawei Mate 10 Lite, also known as Nova 2i in Malaysia. And yeah, that's the brand that everyone loved until the US Huawei ban. But anyway, with that out of the way, I'm gonna set up the netbook server yet again. I'm gonna feel the deja vu about this after I made the last video about setting up my netbook server to host my Discord bar. I cannot speak. Flashback. Time for the installation. Boop. Come on. Come on, expand it please. Ah! Driver. Whoop. Drove. End of flashback. I had to set up a netbook solely for NAS server or uploading stuff to YouTube or whatever. But this is not going to be a Discord bot server this time. The purpose of using this is for NAS, which I have the enclosure taped on, which is unfortunately not USB 3. Kinda sucks, but whatever. But hey, at least I can use the external monitor with. But unfortunately, my AOC monitor died on me, so I had to use this thing. I had no choice but to use the external display, which is this TV. That's what my relatives use when they had to watch TV. <laughs> my grammar is so bad today, what the hell? It's time to plug it in. VGA in. Well, one of the plugs are occupied, so I have to take out this plug, which is for the radio which my relatives uh, will never ever use. This one was used rarely, I think. And in goes the charger. Ah, come on. Power is in. Now let's plug in the peripherals and readjust the camera to the LG TV. Mouse and keyboard plugged in, and I plugged the mouse in off camera, so that doesn't matter. Okay, that's the wrong input. Let me change to RGB. All right, I readjusted the camera, pointed out the LG TV. So that's the 42-inch 1080p TV. Just in case you're wondering, I got my throat after I say RGB that loud. I'm gonna go ahead and power it on. So here we go. Three, two, one. Smoke test! Now I'm gonna spam F2 to get to the BIOS. Oh my god, I think my mom interrupted me so I had to cut that out when I edit this video. Anyways, we have the S10-2 half top which you guys already know what this netbook is all about in the free to free laptops video that I edited this year and originally recorded in 2017 which is I felt really lazy what the hell anyway it has an Atom N280 at 1.66 gigahertz and it's got a Giga RAM and a Toshiba hard drive which is what I have here I'm gonna plan to get a cheap SSD all right configuration and as you can see the time of date may have been reset it kept the time and date sometimes but I guess the CMOS battery is dead so I can see why. Ugh, that was stupid I can't adjust the time and date using number keys. When I hit every numbers to adjust time and date it just wouldn't do anything. You know how much pain he has it was but to use F5 or F6 to adjust up adjust the time and date up 
and down. I prefer adjusting with numbers, which is much more convenient than having to fiddle around with the arrow keys or punching keys, whatever. Side eye controller mode should be AHCI. Power on display is. When I first got it, the power on display option is set to LCD only, so I had to choose auto selected. When I plug in the other display onto that, which is the HP netbook panel. Surprisingly, it works on this netbook because it uses the exact same panel as before, I think. So I'm gonna leave this auto selected for now. So, yeah, that's the only BIOS setting that I need to change. Currently, it has Windows Server 2008 data center installed on. The hard drive. There's nothing wrong with liking Windows Vista, but but a lot of people just despise Windows Vista because of how unstable it was. And go signal. Fun times. It has something to do with the drivers, I think. It just prefers the internal display over the External display, which I don't understand why. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to put the safe mode and see what happens. I'm gonna turn off the lights real quick. That was actually spooky when I tried to work on stuff like this in the dark. Because this screen is ginormous. Ah, come on, why is there, an, why is there a fly on the screen? Hey, there goes the cursor. Awesome. Ah, the flies are so annoying. Ugh. Okay, we're in. So this is Windows Server 2008 Data Center. Give me a second, I'm... It's overexposure. Windows Server Data Center Service Pack 2. It has an Atom N280 clock at 1.66 GHz. It has only a gig of RAM of DDR2. And it's 32-bit operating system. I cannot put 64-bit operating system on this machine because the processor doesn't have 64-bit support which which really sucks but otherwise this is a pretty cheap made netbook so it doesn't matter to me anyways so i can put i could put 32-bit version of windows most likely not gonna use the Silver version of Windows on this anyway. This is my 8GB USB flash drive. I got this thing for free. After I, I I got it, I left it in my pocket and surprisingly it works, but just the indicator is just busted. But otherwise the the flash drive is working. It survived the washing machine process, which is definitely a miracle. We're gonna go ahead and restart and now let's Go on to the boring stuff. Installing Windows. Press any key to boot from USB. Hey, Windows is loading files. I'm sure this is gonna take forever to load. And never mind, it it doesn't. I lied. There we go, we get starting Windows, which does not fit on the 1024 by 600 Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and do time and currency format to English, Malaysia, keyboard, US, NC, whatever. Gonna go ahead and install now. What version of Windows am I installing right now, you ask? Well, I had to install. I cannot speak today because my throat is about to die and my brain is is going retarded mode. Dang it. Yup, Windows 7 Pro SP1. Except all. Gonna hit custom. I'm gonna format this drive. Bye bye, Server 2008 install. Just kidding. Looks clean. New. Apply. I'm gonna hit next anyway. Now I'm gonna wait which is taking a long time. Oh boy. Okay, so as of Windows is installing on the netbook server, I had to transfer the footage from my phone to this computer. In case you guys might be wondering. But why did you take the 14 inch panel on the 54 6 inch panel? Well, I had to stick it temporarily until I can get a... Uh, 15.6 inch panel. So, yeah, in case you guys might be wondering, that's the Asus A55 VJ laptop. That's the laptop that I got back in 2013, and it still holds up well after six years. 
And newer Asus laptops tend to not have a good spec, I think. But this one's a pretty good spec despite of its age. And yeah, look at that panel. That's the part where my mom accidentally broke my laptop screen while it's in my sister's possession. Let me get that in there. Footage transfer is already done, I guess. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and resume the video once Windows has finished installed. Uh, should have bought an SSD, but oh well. Two hours later. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, would you look at that? The sun is rising. Sunchan, is that you? Completing installation. 12 seconds later. What? What happened to the resolution? <laughs> uh. uh, hey guys, I think I'm back. After second restart, I think. I'm pretty sure Windows 7 picked up the drivers by itself. I highly doubt that. But I'm not sure why Windows 7 would not pick the Atom N455 or N470 drivers. It just picks up drivers automatically on my compact laptop as well as the S10-2 I think. I don't think it's gonna pick up the drivers out of the box. So I might have to use the in your headset for the rest of this footage because I got irritated by the background noise. There's no background noise this time so um, I think that's good. I'm gonna keep putting it on just in case. Now we're in and oh boy! Would you look at that? It something's not right. Lenovo Portat. Uh, password. I might have to put that later. Product key. I don't want to do that right now because I'm a pirate. <laughs> Yar. Oh, it picks up the wireless card out of the box, which is awesome. Hey, I actually pick picked up the graphics driver out of the box, which is really awesome. And the resolution is not right. Alright, I'm gonna first of all personalize. Oh, arrow works. Awesome. Oh wait, that's not 1024 by 600. I got to bait it! 800 by 480, not 1024 by 600. Holy crap, 1920 by 1080 actually works! Oh, it's down clock to 1.33 gigahertz for some reason. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it off camera. I'll be back. Okay, got the netbook server connected to the Wi-Fi and... Share with other home computers running Windows 7. Well, no you because everyone else is running Windows 10. Well, I need to change some settings with remote desktop. Yeah, allow connections. Your computer is set up to go to sleep or hibernation when not in use. All right, power options. I just set everything to never. I'm gonna go ahead and install some of the programs I need. Internet Explorer, so let's go. 